The man used a straw to mix the potion. He carefully drips it on the filament. Then, he mounted it on a special instrument. As the wick was turned on, the color of the light changed strangely. The man began to observe carefully. The temperature of the bulb was already below zero. Just now the potion was also completely absorbed by the wick. When he was ready to adjust the instrument, suddenly there was a hand in the darkness. This startled the man. The hand swayed from side to side above the bulb. He seemed to be enjoying the purple glow. Mark was a little confused. A moment later the hand disappeared into the darkness again. He hurriedly moved the instrument towards the darkness. Unexpectedly, he saw an unreal miner. The miner was very shocked because he sensed that Mark seemed to see him, in order to see him more clearly. The man tried to push the instrument again, but the wire was too short. As the lights went out, the miner disappeared in an instant. The next second. Nine. The man was puzzled. He looked back at his mother's photo. A bold idea came to his mind. Then he went to the hardware store, bought a black plastic iron bar. After many hours of research, he finally transformed the light bulb into a moving lamp. Then he took the equipment to an old abandoned house. This place has been abandoned for a long time. No one had ever dared to set foot in it. Suddenly, he found a book on the ground. In the light of the book actually turned up automatically. The man immediately realized that there were other creatures here. He hurriedly shone the light to the wall. An eerie shadow was revealed. So he immediately turned on the special lamp in his hand. A marionette appeared in front of him. The man was completely shocked by the scene in front of him. Mark and the puppet looked at each other, a little embarrassed. He waved his arm at the puppet. The puppet responded immediately. It seems that puppets also have a consciousness of their own. Then the man shines the tube on the ceiling. Hundreds of filaments of light were found hanging from the roof. The scene is very weird. Mark didn't stay too long. He took the light tube and continued to walk forward, without the light to illuminate. The withdrawal puppet also disappeared in an instant. Then he went all the way to the interior of the old house. It's so empty here that even the sound of breathing echoes. That's when he discovered an ancient phonograph. With the approach of special lights, the phonograph unexpectedly started. A beautiful singing sound began to come from inside. Then two illusory figures appeared in front of his eyes, like a couple singing and dancing. Then more and more couples appeared one after another. Man standing in the middle. Feel the romantic atmosphere. As he goes deeper, he sees a smashed window ahead. Suddenly there was a strange sound of panic from inside. The man was suddenly frightened and his legs became weak. He bravely continued to walk forward. The strange noise sounded again. The sound seems to be stopping him from going on. Man turns off light tube and pushes open door. The sight inside is shocking. There are weird scratches on the wall. He turned on the lamp again to shine on the wall. A giant with scars all over his body suddenly appeared. He looks back at the man behind him. At this moment Mark is already nervous to the extreme. The giant seems to be resisting Mark lighting him up. He became restless. Next second. The giant waved his hand lightly and the planks on the ground flew down instantly. The light tube in Mark's hand was also smashed on the spot. He ran out of the room. The giant also seems to be anxious behind. The man hid in a classroom. He closed the door and took the time to change the wick. Suddenly, the door was inexplicably opened. Seeing that the giant is getting closer and closer to Mark. At the critical moment, the man finally changed the wick. Start looking around with lights. Suddenly quiet. Next second. The man held the lamp tightly in his hand. The giant seemed to be afraid, because the giant's palm was actually hurt by the lamp, and began to disappear little by little. The giant looked at the human in front of him with disbelief. He left with his arm in his hand. The man finally breathed a sigh of relief. He chose to continue to walk deeper. Through the escalator he came to the basement. It seemed to be an abandoned factory. There were several old and broken machines. The man shines the lamp slowly to the ground. Suddenly, he saw a beautiful woman appear in front of him. Mark took a good look. Instantly, he was overcome with emotion. This woman was exactly the same as the photo on the wall. It turned out that his parents had passed away not long after he was born. Through years of hard work and tens of thousands of failed attempts, finally he worked out that he could see the light of the ghost. He came to the place where his parents died. At that moment, the woman also showed a smile, with tears in her eyes. Apparently, she also recognized her son. The two reached out their hands and tried to hold each other. Not in the same world after all. The mother looked a little disappointed. Suddenly, the man seemed to think of something. He used the light to make the gramophone sing again. The woman looked around happily. It was as if she had returned to the time she missed the most. A familiar figure appeared. It was a beautiful man in a military uniform. The woman began to get emotional. That man was her husband. In times of war, soldiers often had to go to the front before their children were born. For many people, this could mean goodbye forever. The two men ran towards each other quickly and hugged each other tightly. The man took out a photo of his parents from his pocket. They can always be together in another world. Maybe this is the ending the man wants most. This is a small budget short film. There is not a single line in the whole film, but it deeply expresses the love of the hero for his deceased parents.